You just received your PC and you are angry that the PC has not gotten a DVD drive. You saw the offer online, it was very interesting, and you felt like it was a PC for you, so you bought it. Now you have received it and you realize that a DVD drive is something that you need and you are kind of angry. You are pissed off, you really don't know what to do. You are even thinking of sending the PC back to the seller. In this video, I'm going to be helping you. You don't have to send the PC back. I'm going to be taking you by the hand and leading you step by step on how you can actually fix this problem yourself, getting a DVD online and installing it on your PC. This is something that you can do yourself. You don't need a technician to do this. This is a very easy process. And the first thing you want to do if you've gotten a PC like this, don't worry. This is uh, something that I've noticed because some of the PCs that you see online, they are kind of cheap, yes, but each time a PC comes to cheap, always ask yourself, where is the catch? If you look closely, there's definitely going to be one catch or the other. It could be that the processor is not strong enough. It could be that the PC has just got just 4 gigabytes of RAM. It could even be that the PC has gotten uh, one defect or the other, or it could be that the PC has not gotten a DVD drive, which is one of the common things I tend to see from some of these PCs that you, you get online. So in this video, I'm just going to walk you through exactly what you can do to kind of uh, uh, save yourself the stress that you might be having. But the beautiful thing is that the DVD ROMs and the DVD writers have become very, very cheap. Uh, so you don't have to worry. If you have this situation, one thing you can easily do is to head on to hardware money where you can actually get uh, one of these DVDs. But if you say no, you are an eBay person, you can equally get it on eBay. So what you want to do if you have decided to install a DVD ROM on your system, some people might equally say no, I don't just want a DVD ROM. I want to be able to write files onto my DVD. In this case, you would need a DVD writer. But let's say you have decided to install a DVD ROM on your PC. So what you want to do, head on to Hardware Money. You can actually get this DVD ROM right now for about €9.90, Euros and 90 cents, which I believe is very, very uh, cheap to save you from the stress you are currently having. So you want to buy one of these and get it delivered to you. And as soon as you receive it, I've gotten quite a number of videos that will actually walk you through uh, step by step how you can actually fix this. But the beautiful thing about fixing a DVD drive is that it doesn't matter the kind of desktop PC that you have, it's almost certain that the DVD drive will always be in front of the PC. So the first thing you wanna do is to make sure you take out the front cover of the PC. In this case, you have access to the DVD uh, compartment. Getting access to the DVD compartment is pretty much the same for a lot of the desktop PCs I've, 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 I've seen. It doesn't matter if it's a Fujitsu, if it's a Dell, or if it's uh, a HP PC. So all you have to do most times is just to take out the front cover. And for this, luckily, I didn't need to unscrew anything. I just needed to move the clips that were uh, holding the front cover and then took it apart. And then I have the front cover right here. On the front cover, there's actually a plastic blend that's covering where the DVD should slide into. And then all I have to do also is to take it out. Let's say your PC do not have this cover, then you don't need to do anything. But now, exactly how it should look is something like this. Because you have to create space for the DVD drive to actually come into its compartment. So having done that, the next thing you want to do is to grab your DVD drive or your DVD writer. Most PCs will always provide you with whatever you need to uh, install it in place. On this particular PC, I just have to use three screws, which you can actually get on the chassis of the uh, PC. So I'm going to unscrew it and then take these screws and screw it onto uh, the DVD drive because this is exactly how this PC was designed to, to be installed. Some other pieces might be a little bit different, if I remember correctly. On a Fujitsu Esprimo PC, you don't really have to use screws. There's a metal holder that you have to put on the side of the DVD drive before sliding it into the PC chassis. But on the HP PC, you have to use three screws. I think on the Lenovo also uses a similar lock system with uh, the Fujitsu, which is also a metallic, uh, a metallic, uh, um, a flat metal a part that you have to put on the side of the uh, DVD. So now that that is in place, all I have to do next is to slide the DVD drive into the PC chassis and then return the front cover of the PC. If you've done this correctly, everything should pretty much uh, sit properly as it should. One thing I would actually advise is that while doing this, just be careful not to force anything because most of these parts, they are just plastic parts. 
and they can easily be broken. The clip holding the front cover can easily be broken. So if you have to um, uh, replace the front cover, take it easy. Don't be in a hurry. Just make sure the cover is properly aligned with the PC uh, chassis. So when you apply a little force, the clip just sits in place. When you have done that, this is exactly how it should look. But let's say you have a different kind of PC. Like I said, the process is certainly almost the same. Just have to study your PC and observe and see what exactly is the lock system uh, and then just follow along with the video. But with this demonstration, you should already have a general idea what you need to do. But that is not the end. As soon as you've done that, you want to go ahead and grab your SATA cable as well as your power cable. These are nat naturally things that you should already have within the PC. Your power cable, definitely you should have that. But then your SATA cable, if you do not have that, then you can actually go online and just grab one. Either from eBay or on Amazon, you can easily get some of these things for really cheap. And then you want to connect your SATA cable so that your DVD drive would be able to uh, work properly. In any case, now that you fix that, you are pretty much uh, good to go. But one thing I always like to do, given that some of these pieces, they might be dusty inside. You just want to grab at this point your dust blower. This is a good opportunity for you to just go ahead, clean up your PC and make sure that everything is like tip top within it. And if you've done that correctly, now is the moment I call the moment of truth where you have to test that everything was properly done. You want to put your power cable onto the PC and then switch it on and then try to see if your DVD works. If your DVD works, as soon as you hit the the open or close button on the DVD drive, you should see the green light flashing pretty much faster. And this is one way you can actually tell that this DVD works. But the ultimate test would definitely be when you really put on the PC, connect it to a monitor, and then make sure that your DVD drive is able to read the content of the DVD that you have placed into it. If you have done this correctly, you should have fixed this problem that was really annoying to you. I get it, sometimes it could be a little bit inconveniencing, but with these little steps, shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes to get this sorted out. I hope this video will help you. Once again, if you are looking for a responsible DVD drive, head on to Hardware Money. I'm going to also put a link in the description below where you can actually get it. It's going for cheap, and I see no reason why you should be stressed out running your PC without a DVD drive. It's Hardware Money. Until I see you again, peace.